An introduction to vectors. What is a vector? Let's define a vector. A vector quantity is a measurement that has both magnitude and direction. Why do we need to study vectors? The importance of vectors. In the study of physics, we often look at quantities like displacement, velocity, acceleration, forces, and momentum, and these are represented as vectors. Often we need to add and subtract these quantities, and to be able to add and subtract them, we must know how to add and subtract vectors. Here's an example of a vector. A wind force of 20 newtons blowing towards the east can be represented by the following vector. The magnitude of this vector is 20 newtons, that is a measure of how much force is applied. And the direction of the vector is east since the wind is applying force in the east direction. Here's a simple example of adding two vectors together. The first is vector A which is a displacement vector of 3 meters to the east. The second vector is vector B which is another displacement vector of 2 meters to the east. To add the two vectors, we place vector B after vector A. Here's vector A. Here's vector B being placed at the end of vector A. The answer is the vector from start of vector A to the end of vector B. That is a vector of 5 meters to the east and here's what it looks like. Here's another simple example of vector addition. The first vector is vector A which is a displacement vector of 3 meters to the east shown by this black arrow. The second vector is vector B which is a displacement vector of 2 meters to the west shown by this blue arrow. Please note that vector B begins at the dot here and ends at the arrow head here. To add the two vectors, we place vector B after vector A. So here's vector A and then we place vector B at the end of vector A like this. The answer is the line from start of vector A to the end of vector B shown by this green line. And that's a vector of 1 meter to the east. And that's what the answer looks like. Here's a simple example of vector subtraction. The first vector is vector A which is a displacement vector of 3 meters to the east shown by this black arrow. And the second vector is vector B which is a displacement vector of 2 meters to the east, shown by the blue arrow. To subtract vector B from vector A, first reverse the direction of vector B. B stroke is the reversed vector. So here's vector B and when we reverse it, we get B stroke shown by the green arrow. Next, we place the reversed vector B stroke at the end of vector A and add the two vectors. Here's vector A and here's the reversed vector B stroke being placed at the end of vector A. The answer is the line from start of vector A to the end of the reversed vector B stroke and it's given by this pink arrow which is a vector of 1 meter to the east. A summary of this lesson. To perform addition of vectors, draw one vector after the other. 
The result is the vector from the start of the first vector to the end of the second vector. When performing vector subtraction a minus b, reverse the direction of vector b and add this reversed vector to a.